guys and welcome to my tutorial on how to create a walk in Anime Studio. Fans of my first video on Blinking Eyes will recognize that I've upgraded in the meantime to Anime Studio 9. Not that that really makes any difference to what I'm doing here. Allow me to apologize first of all if you did subscribe expecting a whole lot of tutorials to start coming through. I'm afraid I have been rather busy this year. Anyway, to the main event. Here we have a character created out of a number of layers, nothing special. Just a boy in a pair of shorts who we're going to make walk today. All the layers that make up my creation have been placed in a bone layer. Incidentally, if you're not familiar with the use of reverse kinematics, then this video will probably be of no use to you. Don't ask me why I clicked help, I have no idea. <laughs> um, I'm proceeding from the assumption that you know enough about Anime Studio to get this far. It. So, uh, first position in our walk cycle is known as the contact position. So one foot goes forward and one foot back with alternating arms doing the opposite. Basically like the green man at a pedestrian crossing. maybe overstriding him there just so let me just take a bit of length out of a stride there like hmm, maybe take the arms down a bit no, no, no. okay there are four different positions that your basic wall consists of and since people tend to take a stride in half a second which translates to 12 frames in a 24 frames per second composition I'm gonna space each position out by three frames 4 by 3 equals 12. Don't argue with me on that point. The second position is what's known as the recoil. That's what I'm doing now. Um, I'm going to collapse the front leg a bit and lift and bend the back leg. And I'll bring those arms in just a touch. Yeah, that looks right. More or less. So three frames forward for the next position, which is known as the passing position. The previously forward leg is now square with the body, the back leg bent fully and passing the front, arms will be more or less at the sides. Good point here is beware to remember which arm is which after this. This is generally where I used to get muddled up a lot. It's very easy to forget which arm is which when they are directly in front of one another. And finally, the fourth position is known as the high point. The back leg is angled backwards and stretching to its full capacity front leg is high up in the air and preparing to splat down. The arms of course coming out just a bit. See, that's what I mean, I nearly, nearly messed it up that time as well. There we go, so we have stride, more or less. Now we need to do them um, for the opposite side, which is another great opportunity for a recap. First position then, the contact, like the green man crossing the road, our character is a stride. Like so. Right. Second position. Good idea to go out, go back and check them every once in a while, you know, because if you get muddled up on one, I mean, you, you might not discover it until later. So it's a good idea to sort of play through the animation just to be sure. So second position is the recoil. Bent front leg lifted and bent back leg, arms retreating. forward to the 
third position, the passing position. Front leg is now in line with the body and back leg passing it bent. Arms are more or less down by the sides. Fourth position is the high point. Front leg high and ready to crash down. And a stretched back leg. Arms moving out a bit. And then of course, we're back to the contact position. Like the green man. And that is basically it, as you can see. A left leg stride and a right leg stride. But rather than leave that there, I'm going to delete it since we already have that position earlier. So let me just delete that point. What I can do instead of wasting any more time is copy and paste that sequence. Many times as I want, depending on how long I want the walk cycle to continue. Like so. And then we have two strides. But we're not finished yet. For a character who's walking, he's a little static, don't you think? There's no bounce to a stride. So that is something we will need to remedy. So we will need to select the translate bone tool. Is there somewhere? There it is. Now at the recoil, we need to bring our character down a bit. And we're going to grab the original bone, the one that controls all the other bones, which is usually the first one you added. Don't worry if you move the wrong one, easily done. Happens to me all the time. Just hit Ctrl and Z to undo any changes. And if we roll forward to the high point, once again, yeah, that's, that looks fine. We roll forward to the high point and Move them up. We need to do that all the way along. Here is where I need to come up with some kind of anecdote. Because otherwise you're just watching me move him up and down, which is kind of boring. I'm trying to move this as fast as I can, guys. Up and cross and down. Come on. That's it. And finally, come back.
back up again. Of course, we're not going to do that for 240 frames, so we once again use copy and paste, moving three frames ahead at the last position each time we paste. One, two, three. And did paste. 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 I'm sure someone's going to point out the fact that there's one all-encompassing button that I could be pushing. Which would just repeat the cycle over and over again. Yeah, I, I, I know that. I just um, I prefer to do things in a more manual fashion. <laughs> there it is your basic walk cycle of course there are plenty of things that you can alter in order to imbue certain characteristics on your character but there is a lot more advanced and beyond the calling of this video here's a look at what it should look like when it's rendered I appear to have given him a bit of a kick to his walk that was unintentional <laughs> I'm sure you do a better job than I can Anyway, thanks for your attention, guys. I do hope it was useful. And, uh, you know, subscribe to me. I can't promise that I'm going to put other videos on, but, um, you know, you never know. Feel free to leave any comments, any feedback. And, um, yeah, that's about it.